All right, thank you for turning in today, 233 of Jimmer's Jiu-Jitsu Journey. I've got uh, two no-gi rounds I'm going to play today, so without further ado, here we go. Um, rolling with uh, one of the gentlemen. He's about my size. Uh, real strong, real good cardio. It's always always fun to roll with him because we're pretty evenly matched. Um, I started a little bit before him, um, but man, he's just got cardio for days. Uh... Nothing too interesting here to start with. Trying to circle around, trying to work on a Doris there, but he's got my opposite arm, not really able to get to it. Tried to circle around to the back. He kind of snuck out there real nice. Trying to circle around to the back again. Uh, it is not my forte. It was a nice little roll there. I need to figure out how to, how to stop that from happening because I can't ever do it when I'm in his position, but people do it to me. Uh, trying to clear the leg to get into side control. This is something I've been running into a little bit. They kind of get both their arms out there stiff arming me, and it's hard for me to get past. Um, so I'm trying to trying to hop over for mount right there and, and squeeze his legs between mine, but he pushes me off. So just kind of working on that little detail of my passing. Uh, he's kind of got a grip on my arm there. I didn't really like it. Trying to make sure that doesn't turn into anything. He went for the... Went for a triangle there. I was able to use it to pass. From north-south right here, um, I don't have a huge amount of submissions from there, to be honest. I just use it to get right here where I like to in side control uh, so I can try and get to mount, trying to trap an arm there. Uh, I still don't necessarily always know what I'm doing, but um, use that to get into mount. From here, I'm trying to just stay on top first and foremost. Get my knees up real high under his armpits. Um, maybe trap his arm, one of his arms. Right there, I was almost able to uh, roll him into an arm bar, but, but he saw it was coming. So right there, right here, I, I'm, I'm trying to get here uh, consistently where I've got his head and one arm in there. Um, I just need to get better at figuring out how to finish it. I actually did finish the arm bar from here. Uh, felt pretty good about that one. Tough to get, John. Uh, it's a five-minute round. Uh, both the rounds that I'm showing you are. Um, somebody taps, and then you just get right back after it. Uh, working from a sitting position here instead of from my knees, kind of playing defense, trying to get my legs wrapped around him into guard. I guess when I'm doing these videos, half I'm, half people I'm talking to are my friends and family that maybe don't know a ton about jiu-jitsu, and then uh, or maybe people that have never started and stumbled upon this channel, and then half are people that know a heck of a lot more than me, so I'm kind of narrating half in between. Uh, from there, he actually got past my guard, and then I was able to get one of his legs back in between my legs, get him into half guard. I'm working a sweep I've been working here where I get my my left leg to trap his leg. And then I pull my right leg out. I've got the underhook under his right arm there. Uh, it's an area of my game I really need to improve is half guard from there. Right there, I probably could have kind of stood up into a single leg, but I was able to just kind of push him over and end up on top, get past the leg into side control. Again, I'm, I'm don't, I don't have a crazy amount of finishes from there. I'm trying to get to mount, um, work to get my legs up under the armpit. Right there, he just ducked out. <laughs> Definitely something that happens to me. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit one-dimensional in my passing right now, and sometimes I end up in this position where they've actually got me in the front headlock. Uh, I tried to duck under there, but he had already kind of pulled one of his arms out. Didn't work. I need to get. I need to drill that. Get better at it. Grab a hold of. Do a two on one on the one arm to loosen that up off my my arm and get my head out. Uh, he locks me into half guard here. I'm trying to push that. Get that leg out. Again, that's an area of my game. I need to. I need to drill more. I know I've kind of gone over good ways to clear that leg and that's probably not the most scientific way right there but it worked out back into mount 
trying to isolate an arm. Right there, I got him in a head and arm, so I've got my arms and my head squeezing his arm and head together to choke him. That's the end of the round. Next one, uh, this guy's a blue belt. Really, really good. Uh, he's got a tournament coming up this Friday, a submission-only event. Um, he's very good. You'll, you'll see it doesn't end well for me here. Another five-minute round. Um, he's already passed my guard. Now he's locking up my back right here. I know he's got it, so I'm already kind of turning. You can see right there to try and wiggle out. I've got uh, skinny little baby hips, so a lot of times I can just kind of twist out as they're rolling over to take my back. Uh, same thing, I'm trying to get my shoulders flat to the mat. Um, he's got one arm under my chin there. And then he blocks me from being able to 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 get my back on the mat with that with his legs right there. Um, so I kind of had to go plan B. Then was able to do what I was trying to do there, but he locked up a head and arm, didn't like that, so I rolled back into turtle. Um, now from here again, he's he's trying to he's just trying to take my back. Get me in a position where he can choke me unconscious. Um, he almost had an arm bar there. I used that to actually... I thought I passed his guard. He actually swept me right there. That wasn't my best look. He's got double unders right there. I'm able to kind of stop him from getting what he wanted. Man, he's really good at grabbing arms for omoplatas and arm bars, things like that. Again, I'm trying to pass there. I'm able able to. He tries to stuff me into a triangle, but he's gotten me with that before, so I'm I'm more conscious of it now. <laughs> uh, kind of got him in a north south side control something there. I don't I don't not I'm not sure what my problem there was. I think I just got leaning back a little bit too far. I probably should have just scooted down his body and gone north south. Uh, from there I try to duck out. Doesn't work. Again, I gotta drill those, get better at them. There's something I'm I'm not doing right in live rolls to where it's just not really working. Same position. He's trying to get me rolled over on top of him so he can choke me out. You can see my hips are pretty flat to the ground there, so that's good. I'm trying to turn into him and get on top, but he beats me to it. Gets on top, mount position. I'm trying to trap one of his feet in between my legs. I think I'm able to get it here in a minute. It's kind of dangerous to use my hand there to scoop it, but I was trying it anyways, and I regretted it because that's how he's able to lock up his triangle grip right here. This was pretty tight, and I couldn't figure out what to do. I tried going like that, and that hurt my back. So I went back this way to where I was on my toes, it's pretty tight, but it wasn't wasn't going to finish me. And then uh, he was able to kind of get my arm in a position and, and arm bar me. Start again. Again, I know my passing's one-dimensional right now. I need to get something other than just an over-under or double-under. Um, I just, I like doing them, and it works. Got past his guard there. Again, he tries stuffing me in that triangle. The problem is, once I get out of that triangle, boom, he's he's got his guard recovered again. So, um, he kept doing this the other day where he's reaching over, grabbing my shoulder. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going for an arm lock with that or an arm plotter or what. Almost locked up the triangle there. That reverse or inverted triangle, I don't know what you call it. I uh, try a little something different here. It was a bad idea because he locks up a Kimura grip. Gets his legs up under my, my, my face there. Uh, gets another arm bar here. That was nice. That was something I'd, I kind of learned was I've had people lock up that Kimura and I just stay real tight to their body as they're kind of spinning. Um, but he was able to get his legs up under my face, and as soon as he did, he's really strong. As soon as he did that, I realized I was screwed. Uh, you can see the clock in the upper left-hand corner there. we got 20 seconds now. He's working on something here. Uh, yeah, an omoplata. 
I just am able to kind of roll through, pull my arm out. I was using it to, I think I was going to get past his guard there, but that's it for tonight. Um, it was a good rounds. Uh, I think we did six five-minute rounds, um, and I was toast, rolled with all guys that were, it was competitive rounds like that. Uh, that's it. I think I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. I'm pretty tired. Uh, we'll see how the body feels. That is all. Thanks for tuning in today, 233. I'll be back for 234 tomorrow. Thank you for watching.